Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspies, just another Mixer Monday, 10 box of basketball mixer, ripping it on a Wednesday. Random team break, six spot giveaway as well. Um, and a lot of nice boxes in the break. Let's do it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. So we only sold 24 spots outright. So thanks to everybody who got spots. So top six will get extra spots. Top six after eight, two and a six, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, there's our top six right there. Stephen K, Alan, Aaron, Alan, Alan, Joe. Extra spots going your way after eight. So a little buy one, get one for you. We're gonna put rooftops next to your name so you know that those were your winning spots. You can differentiate them from your regular spots. All right, now let's randomize you a team. All 30 teams are in, no combos. There's everybody here. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Alan down to Mike. Four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got the Orlando Magic down to the T-Wolves. New look T-Wolves, no Carl Anthony Towns. I feel like using this font today. Is that a little too bold? Uh, we'll just go with this font. A little Helvetica classic here. Alan with the Magic, Stephen K with the Mavs, Joe, Last Spot Mojo, Hawks, Randy with the Blazers, Joe with my Lakers, David with the Nets, Aaron with the Heat, Matt with the Jazz, Alan with the Thunder, Eugene with the Pelicans, Stephen K with the Clip Show, Alan with Kings, Suns, Grizzlies, Raptors, Hornets, Aaron with the Celtics, Allen with the Bulls, Stephen K with the Spurs, Brian with the Pistons, Peter with the Cavs, Joe with the Wizards, Craig with the Pacers, Chris with the Rockets, Scott with the Warriors, Joe with the Knicks, Alexander with the Nuggets, Aaron with the Sixers, Michael with the Bucks, and Mike with the Minnesota Timberwolves. So let's sort by team name. And we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the breaks. So we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. TWC trade window closed. Here on hump day, Wednesday the 16th. 10 box basketball mixer. Joe Lawson, Last Spot Mojo with the Hawks. Stephen K, rooftops for Stephen and Alan and others. They won their way in. Or they got those extra spots. Thanks everyone for grabbing teams, appreciate you. All right. Now, let's, uh, I, don't know, I guess we'll start with Revolution. Yeah, I think, th yeah, the, the fire was contained pretty quickly, thankfully, and only caught, like, I actually don't know what the pause was, but it was, it was cool to see the, uh, there was a classic, the, the, the person that lived there was fostering some cats. There's a classic, uh, I wish I got a photo of this, but there's a classic moment of a firefighter carrying a kitten and carrying it uh, downstairs. Um, a lot of neighborhood people kind of came out and so it was kind of nice to see a bit of, bit of humanity still existing. You know, whenever you watch local news, you're always seeing the worst, right? But stuff like this gets underreported. You know, I would wager that good things happen more often than, than bad things in the country. So it was a nice, nice moment. Speaking of frying, there's a direct saw story where McDonald's largest supplier of potatoes for their fries closed their factory, so there may be a McDonald's fry shortage. 
You think there'll be some fryflation? We get an increased fries would be like a dollar extra. See how that factory to blame McDonald's five dollar meals. How how so? Like there's there's those are selling too well and they can't keep up with with potato demand. Why is a company like McDonald's? Adjust some of the camera settings here. I feel like it's a tad bit too bright. And why is McDonald's only relying on one potato supplier? You're telling me they don't have other potato suppliers? Sounds like they put all of their sounds like they put all their potatoes in one basket. That's not good. All right, we got a couple rookies here that are interesting. Here's Brandon Pazemski for Scott and the Warriors. And there's a sore Thompson for the Pistons. That'll be for Brian. McDonald's only uses one type of potato, so their fries are always exactly the same worldwide. All right. So, right, just adjusting the colors here a little bit. Um, why aren't they? I don't know. It just seems. And that one type of potato, only that factory can handle? No other ways to grow that one type of potato? All right, you would think they would have some sort of potato redundancy, especially for situations like this. Is the factory closing because they're like, we can't, we don't make enough money? With McDonald's? Sounds to me, McDonald's is getting a little cheap. They don't want to pay the proper potato prices. One fact, well, there are other suppliers, Rex is saying. This was just the largest. But what, you would think that if you have the McDonald's account, I think you should be doing okay. All right, here's a nice Josh Giddy rookie card here. Allen with OKC. Here's a Seth Curry to 49. And we got an auto. That's going to be for rookie jersey and auto for the Rockets. Josh Christopher. That's going to be for Chris and the Rockets. All right, let's uh, let's get into some Phoenix debut edition. Was there? A, did I miss a Reeves rookie? Be a big season for Austin Reeves.
Is McDonald's losing money with the $5 meals? I don't know what the situation with McDonald's is. Maybe they're making money on other things, though, once you get people into McDonald's. I don't know, McDonald's probably buys things like potatoes and beef and uh, coffee at such a large scale that you know, they probably get some of the best prices in the world. You know, McDonald's operates at a, at a pretty massive scale. Right. I, 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 I was in Korea for a week, a couple of weeks ago for a little vacation, and I did see some, uh, a couple uh, robo coffee kiosks. I didn't try it, but it was interesting. Here's Bryce Sessenbaugh. 40 out of 49 for the Utah Jazz. Happy with uh, it's a little dark, but can I raise the brightness a little bit? Now? That looks a little bit better. It just looked a little washed out. Right. Yeah, so the, the back doesn't look as washed out. There you go. You can see Bryce Sessenbaugh a little bit more clearly. Yeah, Rex, that's called a, what is that called? A loss leader. Classic, uh, you know, it's a classic uh, way to get people into the shop. A proven, proven way, proven method. A lot of numbered cards here. Uh, that used to be what like Best Buy would do. They would back when people were still buying CDs. It's Keontae Johnson to 150 for the Thunder. You'd get people in with, you know, slashed rates on CDs or DVDs or Blu-rays. There's Trey Young. Get them in the store and they walk out with something else. Nowadays, maybe TVs might be. Uh, might be the lost leader. Get you in the store for a TV, and then all of a sudden, hey, I guess I do need a new washer and dryer. <laughs> Tim Hardaway Jr. to 175. Another Pazemski for the Warriors. It's for Scott. I always like the Phoenix design. I like this Phoenix. By the time I get to Phoenix, she'll be rising. She'll leave a note right on the door. There's Pyro Anthony Davis, 54 out of 75. Jaime Hawkes, 18 out of 175. I wish the Lakers would have drafted Jaime Hawkes. Uh, that's going to be for Aaron and the Heat. Former UCLA product. And we got a Case and Wallace relic for OKC. That'll be for Allen. To 199, Duncan Robinson. That's for the Heat. Yeah, I mean, 
There's there's been and here's a and now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. Brooklyn Nets. That's uh, Noah Clowney. That's going to be for David and the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. The the psychology of uh, retail psychology has been something that's been studied and talked about, discussed academically, and on street level for a long time. You know. I think uh, music psychology in grocery stores, I think, has been around probably since the 60s or 70s. Vegas, obviously, pretty pretty famous at knowing how to get people into casinos, into windowless casinos, and where to put the, the loose slot machines kind of in the front, lure people in. Disney, since like Disneyland, since like the 50s. Has, has always been able to use uh, leverage music and smell, fresh food smell or something like that. But yeah, that, that retail psychology has, uh, has been, been around for, for a long time. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't doubt that. Maybe uh, steak steak joints are pumping in, pumping in steak smells. I think this is a uh, short print. Maybe even a case of these. Uh, these Helix cards. Nice Tyrese Halliburton Helix for Indiana. It's gonna be for Craig. R.I.P. Jerry West, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Victor Wembanyama. Nice. Youth Quake, Victor Wembanyama. That's going to go to Stephen K. and the Spurs. And Tim Hardaway Jr. to 149 MVP for Dallas. That's also for Stephen K. There's Noah Clowney, pink. Bilal Kulabawi, Kulabali, Scoot Henderson, Meta World Peace, and Ayo Dosonmu to 299. That'll be for Allen and the Bulls. Scoot's going to go to Randy in Portland. And we got a Taylor Hendricks autograph. That's going to be for Utah. Who's got the Jazz? Matt Arnold with the Jazz. We got Dejunta Murray to 199. It'll be for Atlanta, Joe. Nice LeBron. I think LeBron James was a little short printed in this set. Nice Laurie Markinen for Utah. Matt Arnold with the Jazz. Laurie Markinen has really emerged into a, a fine NBA -er. Joe has uh, the Lakers. Look at that LeBron James. Rex saw a video of a guy breaking down exactly how much chicken wings were needed to supply a local wing place. Yeah, yeah po poultry is a huge industry. Here's a Tony Parker purple for the Spurs. Here's a Brandon Miller for Charlotte, Alan Matsui. Jaime Jaquez. For the Heat, there's the Tony Parker, there's Mello. Malik Monk, Rick Barry to 299. 
for the Warriors for Scott. It's Joel MV. There's a Jaime Hawkes base for the Heat for Aaron. And a Brandon Pazemski silver. Nice. Nice refractor for the Warriors for Scott. A nice rookie campaign last year. I'm sure, you, Warriors want to build on that. It could be future generation of Warrior All Stars. Clint Capella back here. Gold, 14 out of 50 for Atlanta. That's for Joe. And SGA Youthquake. All right, let's uh, get into some contenders. Get some wings for dinner, Rex. You got me thinking wings now. Here is a superstar die cut, Giannis Antetokounmpo, 32 out of 99 bucks. That's gonna be for Michael. I uh, got lottery ticket, Grady Dick. And we got a Chris Livingston autograph. Chris Livingston, I presume. For Michael and the Bucks. I mean, Hawk is rookie card. Out of 149, John Morant, first round ticket. Jason Tatum, supernatural, not numbered. Got LeBron James. Uh, sweet shots, I get it. Sweet shots. Got another die cut, another autograph coming up. Here's the non numbered version of that Giannis uh, die cut. And the auto behind Jet Howard is nice. GG Jackson. Rookie ticket autograph. He had a solid rookie season last year. Alan Matsui with the Grizz. Which parallels, Terry? The sweet shots or the die cut? That's sweet shots. That's supernatural or superstar die cut. There's Supernatural, a Superstar, Supernatural, There's Scoot Henderson, Lakers could really use this guy to really kind of eat some minutes this year. The base card, it's kind of weird, the base cards have this, I forget what they call it, but those are kind of the base cards right there. I don't know what the parallel is called, but that's considered the base. Contenders Optic. Where's the best wings there? I mean, there's a lot of places where you can get, get a lot of wings. There's a couple local uh, pizza shops that have some good, good wings. We got a redemption on the bottom. Here's a superstar die cut, Steph Curry. That'll be for Scott and the Warriors. Here's Jalen Duran. First class. Behind LeBron is a DeAndre Ayton to 75.
And we've got LeBron's teammate, D'Angelo Russell. Five out of 25. D'Lo going to Joe. And behind LeBron is the redemption. And it is Mark Williams, rookie season ticket green. I'm blanking on where Mark Williams. He is a Charlotte Hornet. So that's going to go to Allen. It's all good. All good. That's become my best favorite player. Uh, Charlotte Hornets. There's a live auto on the bottom there. We've got Zach Levine, sweet shots. More sweet shots, cracked ice, Anthony Edwards. To 75, I mean, he might be... That'll be an interesting new look team. They got Julius Randle on that team now, I believe, in that Carl Anthony Towns trade. So we'll see how that offense looks without Cat. Maybe more, more for uh, Anthony Edwards. Could be a big year for him. Paul Anthony, Pascal Siakam. The auto is George McGinnis, 56 out of 125. All-time contenders. Old school pacer for uh, Craig. All right, now let's get into Prism Deca. We've got two autographs in here. I don't think I've ripped any of this. Debut edition. I haven't seen any of this at all, so my first look at it. And then we'll get into the hit parade. Three P here, three bits of memorabilia. Remember, um, for like, for example, like the basketball, we're going to go by our no checklist rules. So unless there's a team or some sort of date or something like that clearly autographed or inscribed or stamped on there, we're going to go by our no checklist rules. That means if it's a retired player, we'll go to the team that he played for the longest. An active player will go to the team that, that he is currently on. So actually, for example, Carl Anthony Towns, his autograph is on the basketball. It's going to go to uh, the Knicks. What an odd stat. Shohei's zero for 19 with bases empty in the postseason. But with men on base, six for eight. Uh, he's got to have runners in front of him if we want to get effective Shohei in this postseason. Bottom of the lineup right there. All right, final box, and then till, until we get to the uh, live memorabilia, it's got that old prism look to it. Nice, and we got... Another nice rookie. I don't think his season was as successful as Pazemski's, but he showed some, some flashes. Trace Jackson Davis. It's going to be for Scott and the Warriors. His brilliance, Giannis. And we got a red Andre Drummond to 199. I think the Bulls might get a. I think they might get Lonzo back. Lonzo Ball. I think Jason Jasper was telling me he had some sort of surgery where I think they 3D printed like some knee cartilage or something like that and put it into his body. He's more machine than man now. Yeah, I do like this old school look, real clean. There's uh, Reggie Jackson to 199 for the Pacers. That'll be for Craig. 
There's his brother Lamelo. We got Demontis Sabonis, 13 out of 49 for the Kings. That'll be for Allen. We got Zach Collins for the Spurs to 149 for Stephen K. Maxwell Lewis, that's another youngster on the Lakers that I would love to see, you know, kind of take it up a next level. Ooh, redemption. Amen Thompson, there's, uh, there's Utah, Tabuse, 86, or no, 6 out of 99. I like Derek Lively. He had a lively season last year, especially in the playoffs. Spaces that Dallas team out really nice. And they're going to have Clay Thompson. That's going to be an interesting look. See how he fits in. It's Brandon Miller for Charlotte. That'll be for Allen. Here's Kyle Lowry to 99 for the Sixers. Sixers at Paul George. It'll be interesting to see, Paul, see how Paul George fits into that Sixers team. So that would help them get over the hump. At the end of the day, it's going to be the health of Joel Embiid and Paul George. That'll ultimately determine their fate. Here's Jordan Clarkson to 149 for the Jazz. Matt Arnold. Cam Reddish for my Lakers. 144 out of 199. Lakers going to need kind of all of their young players. They really didn't do much in the offseason. They really need all their young players to really just evolve, take it to a next step, you know, show, show, show some talent there if they want to get into the playoffs and beyond. All right, the redemption is... Ooh! Signature Prism's gold, Dirk Nowitzki. Nice one for Dallas. That's Stephen K. Ooh! Our new breaker, Clay Jaspi, could be interested in something like this. Nice. All right. Now let's check out the live memorabilia here. Hit Parade, three Pete, Series 5. Game time? Game time. Game time. Game time. Oh, oh, my bad. Oh, okay. Do one of these. Woo! Dodgers. Game time. Let's go, Dodgers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeff's fired up. Jeff, I like that. Jeff's fired up. Ten. There's all your JSA cert certification there. And this is, nice, John Wall.
Nice uh, eight by 10 going to Joe and the Wizards. The jersey. Ooh, nice. This is an authentic jersey too. It's Gary Payton. All right, so nice Mitchell and Ness Adidas jersey. This is worth pulling out. Wow, nice. So, of course, Seattle Supersonic stuff go to OKC. Alan Matsui. Nice one, Alan. The Sonics logo is super cool there. NBA logo, man. Good autograph. Got all the retail tags still attached here as well. Nice. I'll fold that up nicely after the break. And the basketball. is a uh, retired player. It's, it's played for multiple teams. Let's see who played for the longest. He's a Hall of Famer, four-time All-Star, a 1983 NBA champ, five-time All-Defensive player of All-Defensive team, point guard, righty, And ended up with uh, averaging 11, played over 1,000 games in his career. Averaged about 11 points a game, a few rebounds, almost 7 assists a game. 52.3% from the field, 25% from 3, 80% from the free throw line. Pretty, uh, pretty solid player here. Any guesses? Went to West Texas A&M University. And what, what is he doing? What is he doing these days? Any guesses here? No guesses? And he's currently an assistant coach on the Knicks. And even had some head coaching stints with the Blazers, the Sixers, the Pistons. Not Akeem. Akeem scored a little more than 11 points a game, I would think. And uh, this, this player is a point guard. Ooh, this is on a specialty basketball, too. Nice. This is on a street phantom basketball. And there it is. Anyone can decipher that autograph right there? He played for the Sixers the longest. Aaron will get this one. That's Maurice Cheeks. Mo Cheeks. Nice. Yeah, played for the Sixers for the first, what, 11 years of his career. Had a stint in San Antonio and the Knicks, Atlanta, and the Nets before he hung them up. I feel like the colors are nice. The colors on that basketball are nice for uh, the Halloween season as well. Kind of matches that witch we have in the background. Not bad, folks. So we got the Gary Payton jersey, the John Wall 8x10.
And the break itself wasn't too shabby either. There's Dirk Nowitzki. Mark Williams, GG Jackson. So some nice stuff. The Helix, Tyrese Halliburton. I like the stuff out of Phoenix. So a solid mixer here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.